Hey guys, it's Mackenzie, and I'm back with another video. This one is a little bit different than my than my usual just straight haul videos, thrift haul videos. This is actually um, a Plato's Closet haul, which is basically a thrift store. Um, they are a little bit higher in price than what I'm used to, um, but they do have a great selection of items. Um, so it takes less time to shop there, which kind of compensates with the price. Um, I also do have um, a few thrift finds from my regular thrift store that I will be showing at the end. So for the Play-Doh's Closet haul, I went yesterday. I was there for about three hours and I spent $200. So let's get started. My first item, I debated buying these. I went back and forth because I personally do not like them. Um, but they are this pair of one teaspoon shorts. Um, they're selling on Poshmark for around $60 and I paid seven. So I finally decided to just buy them um, because apparently some people do really like them. Um, I think they're, I guess they're cute with the elastic waistband. Um, you could tuck just like a, a white v-neck t-shirt into them and have the frayed edges. It's like a really cute casual look with some sneakers. So that was a good first find. And then next up are these AG by Adriana Goldschmeid jeans. They're a darker wash with some fading, and then they have the cuff with the raw edges at the bottom. So these are really on trend. They're in great shape. So I had to buy those. Those retail for like 200, maybe a little over 200. Next up is a For Love and Lemons dress, which I was really excited to find. Um, it has this like sheer mesh panel in front that goes all the way down and it's like a skater style dress it's, and it has the same totally open mesh panel um, for the back. So I thought this was really cute. It's in great shape, no spots. So that was an awesome find. I believe that was $10. And then these are, I found a lot of um, jeans and dresses was like, or pants and dresses, I guess. Um, these are Citizens of Humanity, which is another denim brand that retails for over $200. Um, I believe these are the racer style is the style name. They have some whiskering going on. Um, they're just a really quality jean. Um, very flattering on. And they do have a little bit of manufactured distressing, so that's always nice. They, these look like they've never been worn, so those were a very good find. Next up are a pair of anthropology pants. I saw these and I like fell in love with them. They are my size, so I may be keeping these. Um, they are the brand Et Trois by Anthropology. Um, they retailed for $118. They're just this pair of crushed velvet um, cropped pants, and they have a little bit of a flare at the bottom hem, if you can see that. Um, they're really cute. They're just like kind of a mix between a casual trouser and a jogger, which is always um, really easy to pair with, you know, just a white basic shirt, or you could um, tuck a sweater into them in the cooler months. Um, and then this is a cloth and stone, which is also sold at Anthropology. They do a lot of chambray. This is just a little romper. Really cute. It's like a um, bleached effect, the sun-washed kind of vibe. With the crossed back and the drawstring waist, it does have pockets, which is always really nice. That was $10. That was a good find. That brand is really hit or miss for me, um, Cloth and Stone. I personally love it. I think um, all of their pieces are really nice. They have that like breezy boho look to them, which I love, so I always pick it up. This is a pair of Madewell jeans. They are the Skinny Skinny Ankle High Riser. Um, they did mark up their Madewell jeans. Some 
uh, were like 15 to 30 and which I'm okay with paying just because I've been reselling for about a year now and I feel like I know what sells at what price point um, as far as like denim goes and a few other categories but I'm pretty confident that Madewell jeans um, do give a good return so I was fine with paying up for these. I think they're really cute also. Another pair of Madewell jeans. So I was kind of upset about these because they had a clearance, a yellow clearance sticker on them. And I asked the girl at the register, um, like while I was shopping, what the yellow clearance tag meant. And she said that it meant $2. But when she actually rang me up, she rang them up at 15 and I didn't catch it until I had left. And, um, which I mean, I'm fine with that, you know. It was just kind of annoying because I was expecting to only pay $2 for them and I was really excited. I kept telling myself like, okay, this dress is kind of expensive, but I'm only paying $2 for those Madewell jeans like throughout the um, time. So it was a little frustrating, but it's fine. They're Madewell jeans. Like I said, they always give a high return. Next up is was my best find. It is an Alice and Olivia dress. This is... Um, I don't remember the style name, but it does have a T style back, and this strip right here is 100% lamb leather, and then the rest is silk, I believe. So this was an amazing find. It's very flattering on. It's in excellent condition. It does have one stitch that needs to be um, replaced. It's just holding this part of the dress here to the strap, but it's really no big, no issue. So. That was fine. I believe that was around twenty dollars, um, and it retails for I believe four fifty, around four fifty. Next up is this Anthropology um, HD in Paris dress. So this is a great Anthropology um, brand. It has like an ombre design going on, um, and then so it has this overlay, which is like a gauzy type material, and then the lining is this beautiful floral print if you can see that so I thought this would be a really cute Easter dress um, so I need to go ahead and get this listed but I just could not leave this behind that was ten dollars next up are these lululemon pants and I believe these are the skinny twill pants um, they're in excellent condition also do not look like they have ever been worn there's no pilling, no fading. The um, rip tag is still attached. So that's always nice because um, I'm sure as many of you know, Lululemon, the size dot is almost like impossible to find most times. There's the Lulu logo. So those are really, that was a really good find. Those were 16, I believe. Next up is this Rebecca Taylor dress. And this is really nice because it's it's unique. It has a pink lining and then a black lace overlay with these, it's like a crochet trim, almost like a pom-pom look, but they're not pom-poms. They're just little, um, they're flat. So I thought this was really pretty. It's just a shift dress. It zips down and back. It's not super flattering, but that would be nice to wear to like a wedding um, it's still kind of spring, summer with the pink um, lining. Next up was my favorite find. It is a cloth and stone piece. And I'm going to take it off the hanger because it's supposed to be um, off the shoulder. So this is also kind of like the chambray material. It is an off the shoulder piece. Like I said, the um, arms fold up and they have this really cute mixed print on the underside. It buttons down and then it is a high-low with the same mixed print peeking out from the back side. And then the back is just the same stripes. So I thought this was really cute. It is an extra small which is also my size so I may try that on. Next up is this Intimately Free People. If I can find the tag. Here we go. Intimately free people. And it's like a little slip dress. 
It has the mixed prints and then a little ruffle detail at the bottom, crossed back. This is only $3, so this is a really good find. Um, really cute. Okay, so those are my Plato's Closet finds. Um, and then next up, I'm going to show you guys my finds that I have found from my regular thrift store that I go to frequently. Um, so first up is this Bailey 44 dress. It's really nice. They call this a bandage dress. So um, it has that like really stretchy, um, like body hugging material. Just goes all the way down. And it has a nude lining, which is really nice because you don't have to wear, um, you know, a slip or anything with it. It's built in. Um, so I like that a lot. This is a vintage Nike pullover. I think I paid around a dollar, two dollars for this. I just could not leave this behind. It has the like thinned, um, oh, accents, like the ribbed accents are, have been thinned because it's vintage. Um, it does have a few pulls and stuff, but that's pretty normal with vintage items. So I loved that. Next up are these I believe they're new without tags, Escada trousers. Um, these are really nice. The only thing is they're 100% wool and we are just moving out of the cooler weather. So um, they have this really nice tassel detail um, and it has like this velvet strip and then a leather accents. So these are really nice. They're like a wide leg. Perfect condition and I paid two dollars for those. So that was an awesome find. Another cloth and stone item. This is, this is called a tunic shirt dress, so I'm really not sure if that's like supposed to be worn with leggings or on its own. Um, it has pockets, very cute and breezy. I love the pattern. This is, this brand was a first for me. It's Yumi Kim, and it's 100% silk top. It's very flattering. It has like a plunging neckline and then like a ruffle detail. Elasticized waist for a flattering fit. This is a new with tags, intimately free people. It's a sleep shirt. It's very long, but I thought it was really cute. It has like the mixed prints again with the pearlized buttons. Very free people. Super cute. More chambray. This is a Zara Trafalic brand. Little, it's like they're called overalls, but they look like a jumper to me. Um, or a romper, excuse me. Um, so it has the pockets in front and the back, and then it has like a hidden button detail. So I thought that was really cute for the summertime. Next up is this Wild Fox white label. It's a little sweater, lightweight sweater. It has the sequins, the sequined heart, as well as the heart sequined elbow patches. So I thought this was super cute. Um, loved that. Moth. Oop. You can see that. Moth by Anthropology. It's just a boxy little sweater. Um, I loved this. I thought it was really casual. You can just throw it on with jeans and some flats for like a really cute spring look. And then last but not least, we have just a basic Madewell tank. I loved this. I like how the lining is like, it looks like it's inside out. Um, it's very boho. So I really like that. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed my finds and I hope you catch me in my next video. Bye.